The horrifying discovery in Egypt that scares scientists. Ancient Egypt reigned as the most advanced civilization in the Mediterranean world for a whopping 750 years, starting around 3100 BC, when the country united, and lasting until Alexander the Great's conquest in 332 BC. This all-inspiring era has captivated archaeologists and historians, giving birth to a dedicated academic field known as Egyptology. The fascination began with the awe-inspiring construction of the Great Pyramids during the Old Kingdom and persisted through the military triumphs of the New Kingdom. Archaeological discoveries brimming with hieroglyphics that were recently deciphered provide the primary sources of information about ancient Egypt. These sources unveil a society that stood unparalleled in terms of its breathtaking art, remarkable architectural achievements, and the cultural richness it held dear in its religious practices. Egypt, renowned as the land of the pyramids, holds a wealth of historical treasures. However, pyramids are not the only ancient Egyptian monuments of significance. Scientists and archaeologists have made ongoing discoveries that have both intrigued and raised concerns. Let's explore some of the puzzling findings that have perplexed researchers. Egypt boasts one of the world's oldest civilizations, leaving behind magnificent monuments and records that continue to be studied by experts. However, in recent times, scientists have encountered perplexing enigmas that defy easy explanation. These discoveries are not just intriguing, they evoke a sense of awe and wonder. For instance, archaeologists have stumbled upon an underground chamber within the Giza Pyramid Complex, which has left them baffled. The pyramids of Egypt stand as magnificent and awe-inspiring structures, testaments to the immense significance they held in ancient Egyptian civilization. These colossal monuments were believed to be chosen abodes of the pharaohs, considered intermediaries between the gods and humans, residing midway between the earthly and celestial realms. The pyramids symbolize the utmost importance of the kings, with their smooth, slanting sides representing the sun's rays and supporting the pharaoh's divine connection to the heavens and their favor with the gods, particularly Ra, the sun god. The pyramids held great symbolic and spiritual significance in ancient Egypt. The pyramids were constructed with a primary focus on religious beliefs, as the ancient Egyptians were among the earliest civilizations to believe in an afterlife. They believed in the existence of a second self, known as the Ka, which would continue to live on even after the physical body perished. To ensure the safety and well-being of the king in the afterlife, an elaborate process of mummification was carried out, and the tomb was filled with various offerings such as gold cups, food, and furnishings. The Giza Pyramid, one of Egypt's most renowned structures, housed the tomb of King Khufu, an early pharaoh. It stands impressively at a height of 140 meters and stretches 230 meters in length, making it one of the largest pyramids in Egypt. The known chambers within the Giza Pyramid include the King's Room, the Queen's Chamber, and an incomplete underground chamber. There is also the King's Chamber, accessed through a remarkable 47 meter long corridor. Scientists embarked on an investigation into the internal construction of the pyramid, searching for undiscovered chambers, tunnels, or other features. Employing cosmic techniques, they aimed to uncover hidden secrets. However, the results left them with more questions than answers. Certain areas that were expected to be solid rocks turned out to be empty spaces. Notably, they discovered a sizable void measuring 30 to 40 meters in diameter. The purpose of this concealed compartment perplexed researchers. Furthermore, the lack of typical burial objects within the Giza Pyramid piqued the interest of the experts. In addition to the mysterious discoveries within ancient Egypt, another remarkable finding emerged during the construction of an apartment building in a renowned Mediterranean port. Scientists uncovered a 16-foot deep black granite tomb estimated to be nearly 2,000 years old. This burial chamber became an instant sensation on the internet when villagers noticed three bones seemingly floating in the murky water. Speculation quickly spread, suggesting that these bones possessed medicinal or supernatural properties. Concerns also arose due to the tomb's peculiar color, which was mistaken for a metal-like mercury. Despite the potential risk associated with disturbing the ancient tomb and the possibility of invoking an old curse, the decision was made to open it. Some even speculated that the remains inside could belong to the famed Alexander the Great or the city's founder. However, Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities suggested that the bones might have belonged to a priest. Notably, signs of damage on one of the skulls pointed towards a possible cause of death related to military involvement, implying that the bones likely belonged to soldiers. 
Regarding the so-called mummy juice, it turns out that it was not a supernatural substance with mystical properties. In fact, the liquid was nothing more than sewage water. The skeletons found in the tomb had partially decayed due to a small hole that allowed sewage from a nearby structure to seep in. The notion of supernatural connotation surrounding the liquid was unfounded. As for the omens and curses associated with revealing the identities of long-deceased bodies, it is possible that these legends are inaccurate or exaggerated. In the case of this particular coffin, no curse seemed to be present, as the person who was the first to place their head inside when it opened appeared to be in good health. One might think that these revelations would mark the end of astonishing discoveries in Egypt, but that assumption would be incorrect. During an excavation project in the ancient city of Avaris, archaeologists made a chilling finding. They unearthed the remains of 16 human hands, which were buried in four separate trenches. Two pits contained one hand each and were placed in front of what was believed to be a throne room. The remaining 14 hands were stored in two additional holes located in the outer space of the palace, dating back to a later period. An even more surprising aspect of the discovery is that all the hands found were right-handed, with no left-handed hands being unearthed. These artifacts were discovered in the Nile Delta region northeast of Cairo and are estimated to be around 3,600 years old. They belong to a period when the Hyksos, who controlled a significant part of Egypt, established their capital in Avaris, which is presently known as Tel El Daba. The hands were buried during the reign of one of the Hyksos rulers, King Kayan. The discovery of these hands in the palace could potentially provide the earliest physical evidence of an ancient Egyptian tradition mentioned in texts and depicted in art. According to the tradition, the soldiers would cut off the right hand of their enemies in exchange for monetary rewards. This practice served multiple purposes. It facilitated the courting of enemy casualties and symbolically stripped the defeated individuals of their power and authority. It remained uncertain whether these hands belonged to Egyptians or individuals against whom the Hyksos fought in the Levant. Both the Egyptians and the Hyksos were known to engage in the act of severing an enemy's right hand. One recorded story comes from the tomb of Amos Sa Naith, the son of Amenhotep I, an Egyptian warrior. The inscription, dating back around 80 years after the burial of the 16 hands, recounts an episode of hand-to-hand -hand combat in which Amhos Sanaith successfully detached an enemy's hand during battle. The Royal Herald was informed of this feat, and the warrior was rewarded with the prestigious Gold of Valor. In a subsequent campaign against the Nubians, Amhos Sanaith nearly captured three hands and was rewarded with an increased amount of gold. What do you think of this video? Make sure you let us know in the comments section below. And if you like this video, we ask you to be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you during the next one.